You guys like potato salad? Yeah. It's delicious stuff. I got twist on it. Okay, so potatoes themselves, right? So we have some beautiful Yukon Gold potatoes here. When I'm making mashed potatoes or I'm making potato salad, what I do is I cook them whole, all right? Because when you're making mashed potatoes, potatoes actually have a really delicious flavor, especially when you get like really artisanal products like this so that are you know from the farmer's market and they're you know picked this morning, they're grown with care. So if you, if you cut a potato open, you boil it in water, the potato is cooked, that milky water you pour right down the drain, there's a lot of flavor in that. So basically you're extracting all the flavor and the water itself, and then you're taking the water and you dump it down the drain. There goes your flavor. Then you need lots of butter, you need lots of salt, you need lots of everything to kind of give it some taste again. And they don't really taste like potatoes anymore, but they have that texture. So when you take a potato, you cook it whole in the skin. Now I like potatoes, they're just kind of cooked in straight cream. I think it's delicious. So we have here some really good, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but here's, here's the trick, right? This is sort of a hybrid in between potato salad and mashed potatoes. So what do you put in mashed potatoes anyway? Butter and cream, right? I'm going to cook the potatoes in the cream in the in the cream to begin with, right? Why not? Why not, right? I'm going to put it in there anyway. So basically, if you think about kind of extracting flavor, my cream is going to pull up that delicious potato flavor, and then I'm going to put that right back in my potatoes. Potatoes can actually taste really extraordinary if you kind of pay attention to them. Okay, so we've got cream, and then we've got some smashed up garlic that we're going to fold in right on top. And then we've got a bay leaf, a fresh bay leaf, and then some fresh thyme. A little bit of salt, and then a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And we're going to let this simmer for probably 18 to 20 minutes until the potatoes are really soft until you can take a knife and kind of put them all the way through from beginning to end. All right. There you go. Cool. Okay, so these guys are going to cook. These guys have already been cooked. Okay. This is a, this is a uh, kind of a goofball recipe. Thanks so much. That we just kind of made up, my sous chef and I. We were playing around one day with a couple of variations, and we had a pot of potatoes. They were just cooked in cream. Now I just split them in half and put them on the grill, and they were so good. Sometimes uh, a really good uh, accident is where you get some good innovation from. So we're going to take our potatoes, and again, why do we cook them whole? That's where the flavor is, right? The second you break the skin on this, you're starting to lose what these taste like. And if you leave them whole as long as possible, you're really going to taste the flavor of the potato. Okay? So we're going to take these guys out. We're just going to let them cool off a little bit so you can handle them. You can make these a day ahead of time if you want. Okay, okay we're going to take our knife here. I'm just going to cut these right down the middle. I'm a purist when it comes to making things taste good. I want the most flavor out of the most perfect ingredients and the easiest preparation. And that's kind of what we do on Tyler's Ultimate and on the Food Network. We try to give you great dishes you guys can make tonight. You know, that's what it's all about. Sometimes chefs, and I'm totally one of them, we kind of get in our way, our own way, with our information. Like we make dishes or show you dishes, they're just too complicated. Like you could look this fabulous with 25 people in the kitchen. You know what I mean? But I'm busy just like you are. And I know what it means to get dinner on the table. So that's what we like to do, is try to give you really good dishes that are easy to make that I promise you're going to have a success story with. So we're going to take our potatoes here. We're dropping down in our little grill. We're just going to start to toast these up, OK? Well, as we're cooking away, we're going to talk about other ingredients for our potato salad. It's very, very simple. We got some green onion. We got a little bit of um, grainy mustard. And we have the warm cream that's in the pot. Simple. You guys are having a good time? Yeah. All right, good. All right, cool. So we're Excellent. So potatoes are growing away, okay? They're starting to toast. Can you guys see the color? It's just so good, guys. You can saw it here first. Grilled potato salad. Okay, so we're going to take our onions. We're going to mince these up into like little fine circles, okay? All right, green onions. We're going to use the green part and the white part, the whole thing. 
All the way down the bottom. All right. Bang. Okay. All right, we're going to get a big bowl, and we're going to smash these guys up. All right, once we get a little color here. Okay. Yeah, these guys are looking good. You guys feeling this? It's a really, really great dish. Okay, so it's like potatoes cooked in cream, grilled on a grill. What? I'm into that, man. So we're going to take our potatoes, we're going to put them right here in a bowl. I got a potato masher, right? And now we're going to make some potato salad out of these guys, right? So hot potatoes, hot potato, hot potato. Bang. All right. Hey, yo. All right. We're going to put these into a bowl here. They got a potato smasher. We're going to smash these guys up. Just got to give them a little head start. They smell delicious. Wow, it's good. Because they just smell buttery naturally anyway. And when you kind of cook them in cream, it's even better. So we're going to take some of our cream here, right? That's infused with garlic and herbs. I'm just going to pour that right on top. All right? Bang. So they're nice and moist. And we're just going to give this a stir so the potatoes start to soak up all this flavor. All right? You guys feeling this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to reconstitute our potatoes, right? So we have like the texture of really good potato salad. So almost like the cream is going to kind of represent what the what mayonnaise would do, right? And then we're going to take our green onions. All right, we're going to fold that in on top. All right, and then we're going to take our Dijon mustard. That's going to go in right on top as well. Give these a stir. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The elixir of life. All right. And then some salt. And then some fresh cracked pepper. Bang, grilled potato salad. You guys digging this? Yeah. 